What's going on, everybody? Mortem here, this time bringing you an update to Black Geyser, Couriers of Darkness. This is a game that released back in the middle of March that I then reviewed, of course. However, now that it's been some time and the game has received a few significant updates, I wanted to take a moment and just kind of talk about some of those updates and the plans that the game has for the future. While this video is going to cover those updates specifically, I will point you to my original review if you want a more in-depth of what the game actually is. But keep in mind that some of these updates here have actually changed a bit since that review itself went live. Now, the game itself aims to be a sort of Baldur's Gate 1, Icewind Dale sort of vibe. And in that way, I think the developer, Grape Ocean Technologies, succeeded in a lot of ways, actually. However, being from an indie developer, obviously there were things that could be improved, and it looks like they've essentially taken it on themselves to actually go about improving these various things. Now, among all of that stuff are honestly just too many fixes to really cover in this short video here. But more or less what you'd expect with any game, a lot of bug fixes, very specific continuity errors, that type of thing. And they've also actually added a ton of quality of life stuff as well. But I want to talk about some of the bigger changes and how they affect the feel of the game overall. But understand there's been a massive amount of tiny changes to this game that make it fundamentally play a lot better. And then after we wrap that up, we're going to talk about some of the plans that they are working on for the future that are currently in development. And so far, with the pace of updates and everything, it seems like they will actually be able to deliver on these things. So, first and foremost, they added a pastime mechanic a while back. This is actually pretty important because there are certain quests that need to be handled at certain times of day, and having a pastime button makes your life a lot easier. Beyond that, the multi-classing saw a big adjustment. In this game, you can take up to three classes. However, previously, this significantly reduced the amount of levels you were ever going to get because of the way it handled experience gains. So in order to level up a multi-class build, you have to acquire the sum of all of the experience for those classes to level up. Whereas with the new adjusted version, they've actually reduced the amount of experience required, so it's actually more fun to play and you'll gain more levels. Which means you can have a multi-class character without actually having to min-max it and make sure it's not going to suck. While at the same time, still kind of potentially allowing you to fail. Now, many parts of the game actually also received a sort of balance pass that will just affect various encounters and combat or instances in which enemies just wouldn't notice you, that type of stuff, or enemies not acting as a group, allowing you to like snipe them off one at a time. A lot of things relating to combat like that did get fixed, and as most people might imagine, or the people who played this game to the end originally are probably aware of, the last portion of the game was really rough on launch in terms of required skill. It was just a huge difficulty spike, and they did a lot of balancing around that, especially with the last couple bosses, which could be very frustrating if you didn't have a good party for it. And speaking of the party, all of your companions that are available in this game at this point have pretty much received an either extended or complete quest line on top of more party banter and things like that. So while you're running around with your companions, what was at launch a bit more of a bare bones experience is now much more in depth and we have more conversation and more quest time with these characters. And to top it all off, they actually extended the romances as well. So I believe in my review, I mentioned that the romances were pretty basic, but as a result of all this extension to the party, the romances themselves also saw an update, which makes the companions overall just feel much better as you go throughout the game. While those are some of the major updates that we have received already, I want to talk about some of the major updates that the developer Grape Ocean Technologies has confirmed to be working on and hopes to add to the game at some point with no official timeline, if you will. These include things like strongholds. If you are familiar with their implementation in Baldur's Gate 2, I imagine it will be similar to that. But this essentially allows you to have a sort of place to call your own, if you will. They're also working on adding pets. I imagine this is going to be part of a class update of some sort. They also want to add dual wielding, more side quests, more complex side quests as well even, mod support, which I think would be great. And the last thing I wanted to mention, because I think it is personally the most exciting, is that they are working on allowing you to create a full custom party at character creation, which I think will be very cool. I'm curious how that's going to work with the narrative, as the narrative of the game sees you starting out kind of on your own. So I'm curious if letting you create a custom party would like skip you ahead a little bit or something. That's a question for another time. 
time. It's just something they want to add, and I think that in particular would be really cool. But there you guys go, sort of an update to Black Geyser, Couriers of Darkness. I think they've updated a ton, and they are attempting to make what was a pretty good game an even better game, and I'm really hoping they actually manage to add some of these future things that they're working on, as I think that could really turn Black Geyser into a very cool title to play with. There you guys go. Hope you enjoyed the update. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz, but regardless of any of that, truly, just thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.